Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me one more time on my little channel. And today we're gonna use a hatchet to open up something new from Core Essentials. Yes, I did get a new belt. This is a new battle, uh, battle belt um, or war belt as some people call it. And uh, it is from Core Essentials. I do own their EDC belt and I was really impressed with it so I got this battle belt and it will come with a very little catalog it's a small catalog of their buckles their EDC and battle belts there's the code you can copy it by pausing this video and there's also an instruction booklet and the instructions were pretty clear but then again I will leave a scan uh, code at the end it will also come with a loop some hardware and a white measuring tape a buckle let's see Ooh. this is black powder coated and this is very reminiscent of their EDC buckle that I have uh, boy it feels nice and heavy and we got the springy snakes this is a double belt system you got an inner belt and an outer belt and i'm sure you're familiar with those the lower the inside belt is velcro and it holds the outer belt it also comes well this is actually extra it's a hanger that keeps all of your ratchet belts handy anyway let's unskin the snake this is the inner belt and uh, something satisfying about taking plastic off this long thing. The stitching is as on my EDC belt. Very, very good. And this part, this is the part that will actually let you adjust the belt a little bit better. And uh, we'll get to that a little bit later. And we'll go over it. Let's get the second, the outer belt out. And again, the stitching looks very good. Looks very tight and rigid. Yeah, the stitching is actually amazing on these belts. I, I've been examining it really close, and I think they're double, double stitched, if I'm not mistaken. I, I I'm, I, you know, I don't sew, so... I'm not an expert. So there's that ratcheting mechanism. And they hold, you know, Core Essentials hold two original patents on their ratchet belt system. So you want original, you don't want copies, you go to these guys. And let me tell you, I do have a couple of uh, copies from China and <laughs> I will not compare those. Uh, they're, you know, they're just nothing to, you know, they're crap. Yeah, this thing is amazing. I mean, their EDC belt, I think, is rated for seven pounds or something. I think I put 20 pounds of gear on it and it was just functioning as perfectly as it should. So if this one is rated for 20, you know, it'll hold more. Make sure to use the tape provided with the kit. Do not use your own tape. All right. Make sure to start measuring off of the ratcheting end, okay? So we'll start right there. And we'll measure until your pen size. Mine is 32 at this point. So this is exactly where we're going to cut our outer belt at your pen size. In my case, it's 32. Make sure that you do not cut where the stitching for the molly is okay so notice I'm cutting it well I tried to cut it with scissors it didn't work try a serrated knife my spider coat did the job perfectly okay although a serrated knife will leave a little bit of frayed edges as far as cutting the inner belt we will start again on the hexagonal uh, mechanism side you saw that we'll start right where that starts 
and again we're gonna go down to your size and in my case it's going to be 32 and we're gonna carefully measure it make sure the tape does not slip and we got to 32 now this is important on an inner belt you're going to go one size smaller so in my case we're not going to cut a 32 which is my waist size we're gonna drop down one and cut a 31 once you cut it you may get a few frayed edges get a lighter singe it off and just to mention the polymer core inside of these belts just like in the EDC belt from core they are stronger than steel okay so at the end you should get something like this right and this is the part that's going to actually let you be comfortable with the belt it's going to fold up between your body and the belt and you will never feel it trust me yeah I guess I better show you guys how to uh, put the bottle buckle on since I skipped that step so here we go once you cut the belt once you cinch off the end you're going to pop the clip up loosen the screws and insert the belt all the way until it can't go any further and I'm try to push it because it looks like there's a little bit of space and then I realized that's not space that's just a little bit of the white inner core exposed so as the belt is all the way in we're going to close that snap and we're going to tighten up the screws the snap has teeth it will hold that belt in perfectly the screws are there as a as insurance you know it'll sit straight and once you once you tighten those things up again don't over tighten them a little little bit is enough uh, it's just an insurance mechanism those two screws will just ensure that the belt will sit straight it'll never come out don't over tighten it there we go so yeah that's it that's what it should look like once you put the belt buckle on okay moving on you see that little metal clip on the end it'll also come with the with a kit put that on the end of your inner belt and looks like the ratcheting mechanism works fine and that's essentially what you're going to get at the end notice how rigid this thing is and it comes with a loop to keep your belt uh, from hanging loose and this is an improvement over a rubber variety that I got with my EDC belt. This one is Velcro, so yeah, it's definitely an improvement. It's the little things, you know what I mean? Yeah. I can't wait till I slap all my crap on it and give it a try. Yeah. You know, the more, the more I use these guys' products, the more I am liking it. You know, I'm not sure how this belt is going to work out, but right now, for me just holding it and feeling it, I think it's going to be one of the better belts that I have. I have a couple, you know, I have a couple of other ones. I'll probably take them out with me just to show you next time I go out to the range and do a, you know, in action, so to speak, video. But yeah, it's uh, very well made. It it's impressively well made I I can't find any flaws with this oh let's not forget about their nifty hanger the hanger is an awesome thing by itself it'll hold any ratchet belt that, that you have in your uh, collection uh, it's designed to work specifically with a ratchet uh, with a core ratchet system and yeah it'll keep your belt nice and straight it won't take up a lot of space in your closet and that's about it hey thanks for making it to the end of this video with me i really appreciate your views your thumbs up everything if you want to see this belt when i take it out to the desert and hang all of my crap on it uh, please subscribe so you don't miss it and turn on that notification bell and uh, again so far i'm impressed I have to tell you, this belt will fit anyone from 24 inches to 48 inch waist. 
And uh, since I'm 32, I fit right in. I like it. I really do. I'm sure it's not going to disappoint. See you soon, guys.